about some case where's it, New Hampshire? Uh, New Hampshire, yes. There's a civil rights case in New Hampshire right now. Uh, and you want somebody to make a comment from your how you doing, sir? Good, how are you? I can't complain. Well, there's a gentleman up in New Hampshire who can complain. His name is Kettler Bossy, B-O-S-S-E. This is a, a, I believe, uh, I forget, I think he's Haitian, and he's been a top producer for years. But there's a guy by the name of James Robbins who called him the Moulin mm -hmm. and worse, and terminated his contract. He was a top producer. Well, I'm documenting, I'm an investigative journalist, and I've been following up on a case in New Hampshire, a documented case of racism. Uh, set forth by a gentleman by the name of James Robbins in that office, one of the New Hampshire offices, against a 15-year agent by the name of Kettler Bossy. And he called him Moulignon, and perhaps worse. And New York Life, rather than acknowledge the wrong, is trying to skirt the issue and say that the civil rights laws don't apply to an independent contractor. And I'd like a public comment from anyone at New York Life if someone could step down from personnel. Last week, I walked the hallowed halls of New York Life's Madison Avenue headquarters uh, looking for a response concerning the allegations that a whistleblower informed a black Haitian man that his managers intentionally delayed his team's commissions and referred to him as a Moulinian. Sure, we all love The Sopranos and, you know, it made for good TV, but frankly, I'm fairly certain that James Gandolfini is rolling in his grave right now to know that corporate citizens are engaging in this sort of conduct. Well, that's how New England often treats its black employees. I have first-hand knowledge of this given my treatment at the hands of the American Tower Corporation where I went from being employee of the week to a dangerous black man the minute I asked a question that they didn't like in seeking some accoutrements for my trainees. Now three of us ended up suing them including a white female fired for supporting me. Uh, as noted in the accompanying journal entry, uh, you can even see a movie that we made about it back in the early 2000s prior to uh, the uh, advent of broadband and YouTube. Uh, now, the question I'll be asking black celebrities soon is whether or not they will continue to patronize New York life. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? For what company? New York Life. New York Life. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. With anyone, but I'm here to speak to someone with uh, personnel, perhaps. Uh, is there someone here with personnel? Uh, with New York Life, yes. There's a situation uh, in New Hampshire. There's a situation in New Hampshire where a New York Life manager by the name of uh, James Robbins is using racial slurs against a gentleman by the name of Kettler Bossy, and he called him a Moulignon. Okay. Okay, thank you. Perhaps, sir. Uh, my name is Christopher King. I'm an independent journalist, and I'm investigating a situation in uh, New, uh, sorry, in uh, New Hampshire, where there are civil rights allegations that a gentleman by the name of uh, James Robbins, who's a manager there, uh, used racial slurs repeatedly to a gentleman by the name of Kettler Bossy. He called him a Moulignon, and perhaps worse. And there's a pending case now before the uh, Human Rights uh, Commission in New Hampshire, and. Uh, Having been a civil rights attorney myself, and now an independent journalist, uh, I find these allegations rather startling. And basically the reply from New York Life is that uh, he's an independent contractor, not subject to the laws of discrimination. Now, of course, they could independently file a federal court with a 42 U.S. Code 1981 claim and go straight to court that way. 
but right now I believe they're still before the Human Rights Commission. And I find this alarming that New York Life... Yes, I am. Uh, I find this alarming that New York Life, uh, rather than acknowledging the wrongs that are occurring uh, in this society, you know, racial discrimination is already bad enough, uh, I find it alarming that rather than acknowledge the wrong and move on from there, that they're trying to cover it up and escape away from the law. So I'm wondering if there's anybody from personnel who might discuss this with me at this time. I have no idea. Could you call up the personnel office, perhaps? Huh? It's going. Um, Give me a second. Indeed, thank you. You're leaving already, Cap? Yeah, I'm ready. What's up? Uh, the chairman is making a complaint, okay. and it's also recording. I don't know why he's recording that little thing. Well, I'm documenting, I'm an investigative journalist, and I'm following up on a case in New Hampshire, a documented case of racism uh, set forth by a gentleman by the name of James Robbins in that office, one of the New Hampshire offices, against a 15-year agent by the name of Kettler Bossy. And he called him Moulignon, and perhaps worse. And New York Life, rather than acknowledge the wrong, is trying to skirt the issue and say that the civil rights laws don't apply to an independent contractor. And I'd like a public comment from anyone in New York Life, if someone could step down from personnel. Yeah, I just actually happened to be in New York when I heard about this. I live in Seattle now, but, uh... Yes, it's a civil rights case in New Hampshire right now. Uh, and you want somebody to make a comment from New York Life? Like Phil. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? I can't complain. Well, there's a gentleman up in New Hampshire who can complain. His name is Kettler Bossy, B O S S E. This is a, a I believe, uh, I forget, I think he's Haitian, and he's been a top producer for years. But there's a guy by the name of James Robbins who called him the Moulin mm -hmm. and worse, and terminated his contract. And he was a top producer. And so James Robbins, in this case before the Human uh, Relations Commission right now, in New Hampshire. And so I'm here to see if anyone would care to comment publicly from New York Life about this matter. Oh, okay. Um, you're not recorded, right? You know you're not supposed to record it here? I, I am indeed recording, but it's conspicuous. If, if you guys right? ask me to, to stop recording, I will stop. Then please stop recording. All right, then. And that will be uh, the termination of my uh, recording of this event.